Good day everybody, welcome back to another Chinwag. So I'm just here on the Pembrokeshire coast. You've got the old sailor behind me there. I'm on a tiny little peninsula called the Unis Dinas, which is uh, in between Fishguard and a small little place called Newport. So it's not the Newport you're thinking of if you're from Wales, <laughs> probably. Uh, a very small little place called Newport, very nice little town actually. A little bit different to the, to the bigger Newport, I'm guessing. Um, but anyways, I've just come down here. I'm doing some voluntary work um, about 20 minutes away from here. So I've just come for a little walk around this little peninsula here today. And uh, once again, my, my country's just blown me away, you know. It's so cute, some of these little places. Um, it was just a random off the cuff. Woke up this morning, thought I want to go for a little hike got Google Maps out and just looked and zoomed in on this little peninsula here and absolutely stunning you know but I just wanted to say in this little chinwag I guess the the subject is enjoying your own company you know and um, solo traveling basically I mean I absolutely love traveling with my girlfriend obviously obviously um, but she also knows and she also um, what's the word except I guess that I love traveling on my own also you know I love adventures by myself and um, whenever I'm not with my girlfriend I like now I'm in my own country with a fairly flexible lifestyle at the moment um, so I brought myself down here for a couple of weeks you know a bit of voluntary work and a bit of pleasure basically so words can't describe like the feelings I get when I'm just like bobbing about on my own and going on little adventures like this you know I've just been around this little peninsula here as you can see it kind of goes up there it goes around there absolutely stunning scenes and there's just something about being by yourself and being on a on a proper little mission you know and especially if you haven't planned the day especially if you haven't planned to kind of do what you're gonna do everything's just a an ex a, a, an, an adventure yeah exciting that's the word I'm trying to think of everything's exciting I mean some of the places I've been to today I've never thought of in my life I would never have thought of coming here it's not somewhere I would have picked the map up and thought ah I'm gonna go there you know but it's somewhere I visited today and some of these little places are just unbelievable they're like little film sets you know and especially if you're not from the UK um, and you're not used to all of these tiny little villages and little cottages and little stores and um, just very cute it's very cute and it's made me realize that I think my country is one of the cutest countries in the world to be honest with you as far as little villages and traditions and all of that kind of stuff you know there's a lot to say for it like this little place here um, this little place is called bear with me Pusquilod now it's called Pusquilod Beach but I don't even know if this place is even a place because there's nothing here there's no houses i don't think the place is called pusquilod it's just literally this pub here and a beach down there and uh you've got across the way there you've got fish guard that's just across there you can't really see it from here but that's heading south so yeah folks i'm i don't know i love pushing the solo travel and uh, just getting out there by yourself you know if you're just on your own and you don't have anyone to kind of travel with or go on ad adventures with over a weekend or something like that just go by yourself man go by yourself there's just something about being by yourself you don't have to you're just on your own time frame like now my first beer in weeks i just thought why not i'm just gonna stop here have a quick swifty and then i'm gonna move on you know there's you just go at your own pace it's amazing i absolutely love it you know and especially my little trips here in the UK. I don't know whether it's because I feel comfortable here or um, I can speak the language easily and things like that, but it's, uh, I love coming on these little road trips around my own country here in the UK and Wales especially, you know. It's just fantastic, absolutely fantastic. So if you don't come over to the UK that often, I would highly suggest some coastal trips, folks. Come over and do some coastal trips because the UK has got a lot of coast <laughs> and it's only a small island and even on the east coast uh, I've been over there last year and absolutely blew me away you know just totally wasn't expecting it to be like what it was so um, yeah man 
plenty of beautiful coastline to see here but I just wanted to again push the solo travel push the trips on your own you know just get out there do it stay going and and just stay just pick somewhere random and um, just research it and then go you know it doesn't have to be too far from your home even you can just keep it close to home to begin with if you're a little bit worried about that kind of thing anyway folks I'm just going to enjoy this little view for a bit longer I'm actually down here doing some voluntary work so it's my day off today so I'm just making the most of it anyways leave any comments that you've got in the uh, the comment section below let me know if you enjoy travel do you enjoy solo travel sorry do you enjoy going on your own do you enjoy little trips by yourself let me know and let me know if you know of any decent places within the UK especially to go I'm all ears I love trips in the uh, this country when I'm on my own because when I'm in other countries generally I'm with my girlfriend and uh, we do things together which is also amazing by the way I just want to iterate that iterate is that the right word I think <laughs> anyways folks until the next one take care of yourselves peace